snowy slushy but beautiful views just look at that that is Loch Moy so you got snow in the hills just over here and there's a little island just over there and on the island you get osprey right I suppose better get going again just concentrating on consistency at the moment so consistency over increased mileage or speed all I want to do is be able to run at the moment I've got the Balmoral 10k in a month so I'm gonna be fine for that I know it won't be quick but if I can get round enjoy it not have any issues then that is the result for me yeah today it's about six and a half k run around Loch Moy which is generally flat apart from this bit that I've been going up typically I thought I'd record on one of the few ups now I'm out of breath <sighs> This is all part of a big, big estate with a big grand house, Moy House, just over that way. But it's all very nice. Well, I think if you went back in time, 150 years or however, however long ago, this would have been a quite a posh place to be. Now it's just a little worn down. Obviously, I had no money pumped into it for a long time. Just a shame. benches around here are great <laughs> I've definitely got heavy legs six and a half K yesterday and six and a half K today is probably slightly more than my legs wanted to do are we there yet are we there yet on my third run of the week which is great still keeping those runs consistent three runs in a week happy with that I'm just out today nice and easy slow pace no worries enjoy the run listen to some good music on the headphones and don't stress about anything just have a nice time my watch keeps beeping or well, not keeps but beeped a couple of times heart rate too high 180 slow down I'm going slowly I'm not out of breath. I'm enjoying myself. Screwed my watch. Sometimes you just have to forget the technology and just appreciate the fact you're outside. the green lock so this green this green this lock is green uh, it's made that way by the pixies apparently what do you think well the sun is out and I'm absolutely roasting it's supposed to hit about 15 degrees today which will be I don't know where are we on end of March probably the end of October since it was last 15 degrees here. I am so warm. 
I did need, not need this top on. Okay, this is what they call Rivo in Bothy. Cool. So this is the inside of a Bothy. You got a nice little fire there. A few seats, table, and this is what a lot of people will sleep on. So yeah, if you ever get stuck out in the hills and you come across a Bothy, this is quite a good one. So you get some which are really, really done out and some which are a bit of a ruin, but this isn't too bad at all. And then the outside of the Bothy looks a bit like this. So it's it's got some pretty pretty spectacular views just here. Gorgeous day. It is so warm. So that's the Bothy there. Over here, you've got a path that goes up to Bynock Moor that way. Bynock Moor's a it's a great wee hill. Oh it's not a wee hill, it's a bit there. You know, it's, a, it's a high hill. <laughs> high for the UK anyway. So that's over that way. Cairngorm's just over there. Uh, back to Glenmore. Up here is Mealy Buckle. And on that way is Nethy Bridge. Uh, it's a great path along there, but I'm not going down there today. Today, we're just going to head back down here. Let's go. I don't remember for the last time I enjoyed a run as much as this. I just can't remember. It's been such a long time. Such a nice day for a run. Loving it. Oh, there <laughs> used to be a little bridge here. Not anymore. Ah, oh, nightmare. Am I going to have to jump? Or just wade? I think I can make that in a jump. I'm going to have to wade. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm off out for a run down to Lossy Mouth along the beach. Currently, it's about, I think it's uh, three degrees wind chill apparently it's supposed to be about minus two so it's a bit chilly but it's a lovely sunny day this is. This is Lossy Mouth Beach. Um, I can't remember if it's the east or the west beach. But it's the one with the new bridge that we just went over. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's a massive big wide beach, sandy beach, big sand dunes and it goes on for absolutely miles. Ooh, what a place to be for a run. Pause the watch there. I think that's far enough for me. That's five and a half K to this point. So go back again, that'll be 11 K, which is the furthest I've run for the past couple of years. So I shouldn't really push it too much. What a day though. Just look at it. Somebody out there surfing the other day. Amazing. Some good waves, so there's really big waves yesterday. Right, let's head back. So training's going well. I've been concentrating on steps as well as running. So I've been going out for loads of walks and more steps this month than I have in the previous few months. So everything is heading in the right direction. Oh, here comes another runner. Hey, Ben. How are you going? So I've been staying up at Lossy Mouth the past couple of nights to give me plenty of time to take some pictures of the lighthouse just up here. Uh, in different conditions, sort of sunrise, sunset, loads of pictures, lots of pictures of wildlife on the beach. This is only about an hour away from home. 
but being able to stay over has given you much more opportunities. God, it's chilly. It was raining a few minutes ago. Before that, it was sleet and snow. So, yeah, nearing the end of the run and to do with warming up, really. If we look behind us, back that direction, that's where we've just been. Clouds and rain. Good job I turned around when I did, because here it's, it's much nicer.